The cut has been made and the third round of the 123rd U.S. Open will tee off later today from the Los Angeles Country Club. Leading the pack is Ricky Fowler, who sits at 10 under and holds a one shot lead. Here to talk about Ricky's hot start and everything U.S. Open is the New York Post, Mark Canizero. Mark, thank you so much for taking the time. Um, like I mentioned, Ricky Fowler is sitting at the top of the leaderboard after two rounds. Do you think he can keep this up and win his very first major? I think he can keep it up. His form has been incredible for the last two rounds. Um, what's cool about this whole thing is Ricky's been in a significant slump for the last three years and has kind of come out of it. I wrote my column in today's post about his coach that he's gone back to, uh, Butch Harmon, and had a good conversation with Butch yesterday about Ricky. And he just says he seems to got, he has his confidence back. Uh, his swing is in good shape. He just kind of likes his body language. He's you know he has his confidence and. And, and whatnot. So he's, you can see that on the course, you know, I've watched Ricky the last few years and it's been kind of, you know, it's been a bummer to watch him because he's a guy that's been used to be in, in contention. And he just hasn't been in contention. So he's on the, on the rise, Butch used the word he's back and he's ready to win. And he said, golf needs him to win. Absolutely. But lots of golf yet to be played. Some other guys in the hunt include Rory McIlroy and Dustin Johnson. Why should we count them out quite yet when it comes to winning this tournament? Well, you can't count them at all, out at all with that. With there's no question. I mean, Rory's right there. Rory has not won a major championship in four years. I'm sorry, in nine years, and that's become you know a little bit of a uh, of a thing for him. It's it's a a mental hurdle he has to get over, much the way that Ricky has to kind of get over things too. Ricky's never won a major championship yet. Uh, Rory's won four of them, but his last one was in 2013. And he's right there. This is right there for the taking for him. You know, Dustin Johnson's been in great form. I thought he did a great job yesterday. Uh, he, you know, he had a quadruple bogey in the second hole, which literally undid all of the good that he did in this first round with the six under. And he fought his way back to six under. So he's right there, just three shots out of the lead going into the weekend. The conditions are going to get tougher today. Uh, the sun is out. It's baking the course out a little bit. It's going to make the greens more difficult to, uh, you know, to hold for the players. So I think you're going to see higher scores today and a little bit more of a challenge over the weekend. The tournament hasn't been quite as kind to Justin Thomas. He shot an 81 and he called that humiliating. So where's his mindset? Do you think he can turn it around moving forward from here? I mean, he will turn it around at some point. He's in a dark place right now. Uh, he's a guy that is very, is traditionally very hard on himself. Uh, you know, he beats himself up a lot. He knows that's kind of one of his flaws. And, you know, he's also a guy that's won two major championships and and, and feels like he should be in, be in contention in, in every one of them. And I think as it's as he, he's not seen the results, he's been pressing further and further. And, and now what you've seen now, you know, obviously the 81 yesterday was – pretty shocking result. I mean, the, the conditions weren't so difficult that you should be shooting at 81, uh, even though it is a U.S. Open. So, uh, you know, he's got the British Open coming up next month uh, in England. And I think, you know, I mean, he referenced it yesterday after his round. He got, I got one more major championship to kind of get my my stuff together, so to speak. Uh, but, you know, this stuff is cyclical. Guys go in slumps like any other sport. Right now, he's in a low place. He's in kind of a low place where, like where Ricky was for the last few years. And you know, he's going to try to dig himself out of it. All right, we'll see what he does moving forward. Lots of good golf. Enjoy the weekend, Mark. Thank you so much for taking the time today. Thanks. Good talking to you.